how I lost 2% day trading today. So last week was a winning week where I made over 5%, I want to say 6% last week, but this week has been pretty, pretty suckish. I'm actually, I think down 2% or 3% this week. So last week was a winning streak. This week is a losing streak, unfortunately. But let's get into the breakdown. I only took two trades today, but they were both losers, unfortunately. So start off by marking out the 15 minute high and low on Euro USD, and oh, not the 15 minute, sorry, the high and low between midnight and 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in Euro USD on the 15 minute time frame. After that, I pretty much just waited for a sweep of liquidity, and I got that right at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because there was news coming out. Uh, it was unemployment claims, which is pretty high impact news, but unemployment claims really doesn't affect the market too much as you guys can see over here at this 8.30 candle. It does move the market, but it doesn't move it that much. And frankly, from my testing, I can trade it and be more profitable than if I was to avoid it. So swept it through the news. And usually when news sweeps liquidity, it gives us a pretty clear indication of where price is going to go. So it swept liquidity, strong bearish candle. It broke structure and I marked out the fair value gap. So I set a limit order at the fair value gap, as you can see, because it's marked out as FVG. And so set a limit order, but unfortunately, I lost the trade. And so that was the first trade, guys. I lost it pretty much within the 30 seconds that I got in the trade. But it is what it is, down 1% so far. Next, I did the same thing on GBPUSD. I went to the 50 minute time frame and then I marked out the high and lows between midnight and Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, pretty much this pair also ended up swiping the, sweeping the highs, sorry. And so after the sweep of the highs, we got into a little bit of consolidation, which did work in my favor. Gave me a little bit more confidence because once price ends up consolidating, it's going to break out in one way or the next other, right? And so if price is going up, 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 and it's consolidating, chances are it's not going to continue going up. So since price was already going up, started consolidating, I thought price was going to go down. After this bearish, um, after this low, after we ended up closing below the low with this bearish and graphing candle, and we made a fair value gap right after that candle closed that gave me a lot more confidence because of the fact that we're in consolidation we made we had a bearish and thing candle close below the low and we made a fair value gap so i set my limit order at the fair value gap guys stop us above the first candle of the fair value gap high and unfortunately guys i ended up taking a loss this one i also ended up taking a loss pretty quickly but it is what it is so yeah guys like i said um last week was a winning week i was on a winning streak this week i'm on a losing streak unfortunately i've lost three trades and all the rest of the trades i think we took six trades in total they've been break even so three losers three break even trades it is what it is guys um hopefully tomorrow is a better day because if i win twice which i like can do probability does say that it's possible if i win twice guys i'll be in profit for the week so it is what it is we'll see what ends up happening tomorrow but for now i'm down three percent for the week